Welcome, dear traders. Yesterday, stocks managed to extend gains following a rally that started last Friday. A rebound occurred thanks to the article in the Wall Street Journal. Asian stocks also went up amid optimism on Wall Street. However, they are facing certain challenges due to internal headwinds. Let's discuss in detail the main highlights of the today's Asian session. The article published in the Wall Street Journal stated that some Fed officials are concerned about excessive rate increases. For example, San Francisco Fed President Mary Daly said that the regulators should talk about slowing rate hikes in December. This is why many analysts suppose that the Fed may take a pause in the tightening cycle. Time will show whether this uh, assumption are true. The services PMI index declined in October, logging a contraction for the fourth month in a row. Stocks rose yesterday following the negative report, judging by the weakening of the PMI indexes. Sharp interest rate hikes have brought some positive results. However, the CME Fed Watch tool still signals a 75 basis point rate hike next month. Today, the indicator stands at 95%. Inflation remains above 8%, so it makes no sense to talk about any change in the monetary policy now. Fed policymakers have said many times that they might consider a slowdown in aggressive tightening only if there are clear signs of a steady drop in inflation. They are discussed from time to time when it's appropriate to halt the tightening cycle. Nevertheless, it could take many months before markets will see the impact of the rate increases. There is still time for it. U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said yesterday that the U.S. economy is healthy and there are no risks to financial stability. However, she added that the global economy faces a dangerous and volatile environment that could create financial stability risks. Risk appetite is gradually increasing amid dovish remarks from a fat policymakers, the also undermine rally of the greenback. In the Asian session, it was fluctuating in the sideways range of 111.73 and 112.13, showing some sharp moves. Only Christopher Waller is a scheduled to make a speech before the FMC meeting on November 1 and 2. If there are more dovish comments on a key rates, it may lead to further weakening of the US dollar in the short term. The US dollar index is a trading at 112.03, flirting with a three-week low. However, it's likely to recover soon. Such safe haven assets as the US dollar and the US treasuries are sure to remain in a high demand amid mounting concerns about the global recession. The yen managed to take a breather amid the consolidation of the greenback ahead of the Fed meeting. The Bank of Japan resorts to verbal and direct interventions to bolster the national currency. Not long ago, there were rumors that the regulator intervened once again without making any announcement. However, the fact of the alleged uh, intervention is uh, fading quite quickly amid strong demand for the US dollar. On the top of that, the yen is unable to regain ground due to increased risk appetite in stock markets. The Bank of Japan will continue to limit the depreciation of the yen. And today, Japanese Finance Minister Shunichi Suzuki again made a verbal intervention, saying that the government is ready to take decisive action if necessary. In the Asian session, the yen was trading in the upper channel of 148.45 and 149.10. As the US dollar gets stuck in the sideways range, the dollar-yen pair has already approached 148.91. At the same time, the main trend remains bullish amid the strong US dollar. Commodity currencies managed to move up as well versus the US currency. The Australian dollar climbed to meet the risk on sentiment in the stock markets. However, it's unlikely to resume steady growth due to the dim economic prospects of its main trading partner, China.
Xi Jinping won his uh, third term in the office, cementing his status as China's undisputed leader. Another bearish factor is the ongoing lockdowns across the country. Oil prices have also been drifting in the sideways channel for the fourth session in a row. Therefore, they are used to pay is quite volatile. In the Asian session, the pressure on the US dollar weakened amid the pair rose to 0.6325, hovering in the price range of 0.6304 and 6343. After sharp fluctuations in the previous sessions, the New Zealand dollar managed to stabilize. It asserted strength following positive comments. Chief economist Paul Conway expects inflation to decline in the future, saying that it could reach its peak soon. For this reason, the NZD USD pays a trading today in the range of 0.56 uh, and 76, climbing to 0.5698. And that's all for now. Subscribe to our channel and keep your finger on the pulse. See you soon.